Hello friends, this is Sanjeev Kaushik and welcome to my channel Methodical Trades. In this video, I'm going to talk about one stock that I believe was a market's darling about 2-3 years ago, but then fell out of favor and now might have bottomed out and is about to go upwards. One caveat, even before I talk about the stock, its fundamentals are shaky, right? So I wouldn't ever put on a very huge position on this stock. And the stock I'm talking about is ASX listed Zipco Limited. Now, the, the reason for covering this stock today is this double bottom pattern that it formed. You see, this is first bottom, this is second bottom. Ideally, the bottoms should be at same level. That's the textbook definition of double bottoms, but you never find the bottoms to be at same level. There would always be a bit of a difference, right? So I picked this stock last week when the breakout was still tentative. If I zoom in, I can show you based on which candle I did that. It was a bit of a risk that I took, right? So there's this dodgy candle that it formed here. So the reason I took the position on this dodgy candle here is that it opened gap up and it didn't come down to fill the gap, right? And the reasoning I gave to myself before taking on this position was that, of course, there was a bit of a high volume candles forming here, right? With huge moves of stock moving seven, eight, nine percent in a single day. And the other thing was the risk reward was very favorable, right? So I took a bit of a leap of faith and I thought that the stock might be nearing its bottom worth taking a shot. In fact, if you really look closely, you can also argue that it has formed an inverted head and shoulder as well, right? So this is one shoulder. This is the head and this is the bottom. But I would regard that as my double bottom because that's on the basis of which I took the position. Where can this stock go from here? I would give it about two to three months and see if it has the potential to go to its next resistance, which is at 0.8 level. Again, 30% upside from the current levels. Will it go straight? No, I don't know. If the markets would start getting a little more benign for growth stocks, yes, it can. Right. It's a it's a high beta stock, but I would be very, very cautious trading on this kind of a stock, especially because its fundamentals are shaky. You never know with these kind of stocks when they would announce for bankruptcy. And such is the environment that we are currently living in trading in. Right. So with these kind of stocks, I like to take very small positions and see if it's going to work out or not, because of their very high movement, even with small positions, you have the potential to make huge returns. When I entered, it was somewhere around 0 0.56, 0 0.7. So probably I'm already up 10% on my investments. From those levels, the risk rewards were amazing. My risk was about 5%, but my rewards were almost like 35, 40%. Very hard to pass up on these kind of trades. Now in bull markets, you usually expect that this target would be achieved 0.8 or so. Now, if we assume that bull markets are going to resume, then maybe this target will be achieved. But I'll be very careful. I'll be trailing my stop loss on this particular counter and see how far it will go from here. One more point to add here is that ADX was very supportive, which means that the stock has really good momentum underneath it. If the stock is going to go up straight away, then well and good, but even if it is not, we've got nothing much to lose, right? So right now I have brought my trailing stop loss to the entry levels so that I have nothing to lose, even if I might end up losing out on the upside. Because one more reason why it's always difficult to trade these kind of stocks that might have found bottom but have been falling a lot from high levels is that people are stuck at every level. So it will face selling pressure at every level as it will go up. So it'll take huge supply of cash underneath it for the stock to start rising again. And that only happens when we are in a bull market and the liquidity is ample in the stock market. OK, this is all that I wanted to cover in this video. Again, no buy or sell recommendation. I'm only sharing my views, especially one of my own trades that I thought is worth sharing with you guys, because there's a lesson to be learned here in terms of the way that I pick my stocks for short term trading. Thanks a lot for being with me and I'll see you soon.